Do you ever find yourself getting hooked on thoughts and feelings of self-criticism, self-doubt, fear, anger, and insecurity? Do these thoughts and feelings tend to consume you, impacting your mood and distracting you from being your best self? You're not alone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a revolutionary and science-based mental health approach called emotional agility. And this is gonna help you defeat your negative thoughts for good. Hey, I'm Dr. Derek Matthews here, co-founder of Character Quest, where we help you become the greatest leadership version of yourself. And if you wanna level up your leadership skills, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to be notified when we post a weekly video. Because we've worked with thousands of leaders from startup to Fortune 100 companies on these exact leadership skills. And so now it's your turn to take a few minutes and invest in yourself to be, become bigger, better, and brighter. So emotional agility. What are the benefits of that? So University of London professor Frank Bond and a few others show that emotional agility can help people alleviate stress, reduce errors, become more innovative, and improve job performance. All those benefits sound pretty awesome. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to take us through the four steps of emotional agility to tame down those unproductive thoughts and the internal chatter of the mind. Step number one recognize your patterns. The first step in developing emotional agility is to pay really close attention to the moments we get hooked on a negative thought, feeling, or emotion. These are those times we become incredibly reactive with fight, flight, or freeze on the spot. That little voice perks up in our head and we are consumed by unhealthy internal chatter. Susan David, who coined the term emotional agility, says leaders stumble when they are paying too much attention to the internal chatter in their mind, allowing it to sap important cognitive resources that could be put to better use elsewhere. So that is why we need to pay really, really close attention to the times when our thoughts consume us and bring us down in the dumps. It could be when we're scrolling through Instagram and we see the Joneses next door traveling Fiji while we're sitting at home, bored out of our mind, and you think to yourself, my life is boring. I am very boring. Or how about this one? When, when, when you are scrolling through LinkedIn and you're flooded with champagne bottle pop and job promotion pictures from what feels like everyone in your network and you think, when will it be my turn? Am I stuck in my career? I'm such a failure. See, that's right there where that internal chatter rears its ugly head. It's not fun. It's super unhealthy, so let's do something about it. Step number two, label those thoughts and emotions. See, when we get hooked on a negative thought, we are deep, we're already deep in the weeds of the situation. To combat this, experts suggest that we label a thought as a thought or an emotion as an emotion. Labeling allows you to take a helicopter view of those thoughts to see them for what they really are, just thoughts or just emotions. Some are helpful, some are not. When we start to slow down and label our thoughts, we begin to unhook ourselves. So my internal chatter would go from something like this. If I speak up in this meeting, I could make a fool of myself to, oh, I'm just having the thought of inadequacy. There's a shift there. So by simply labeling the thought we objectively take control of and own the thought before it owns us. Step number three, acceptance. This is huge. We don't want to avoid negative thoughts, nor do we want to buy into them. We want to be somewhere kind of in the middle. Here's how it plays out. Avoiding negative thoughts amplifies the chatter in your head. This is why fad diets don't work. Trust me, if you're one of my friends, you know I've tried them all. No carbs allowed on keto. Don't even think about carbs. All I can think about is smashing Olive Garden breadsticks and smashing a whole bag of Hawaiian sweet rolls. That's just how it works. But to buy into a thought just holds us hostage. We wave the white flag and let the negative thoughts consume us like a zombie horde from Walking Dead. And we've seen enough of that. We know what that looks like. So instead of avoiding or buying in, we want to accept the thoughts we have identified and labeled. This is one of the most important steps in developing emotional agility. This is where we take some deep breaths and become more present in the moment to calm down the amygdala, the area of the brain that deals with emotions. So we must welcome our thoughts in a mindful and productive way. Don't give them power over you. Don't ruminate over every fear or anxiety. Don't stew, brood, or boil. 
on anger and frustration, accept thoughts and emotions as they are, a thought and an emotion. Step number four, act on your values. Once you are unhooked from your negative thoughts, you have the freedom to take what I call value-based action because values are deep-rooted and guide our actions towards what matters most. They silence that chatter in our head, kill negative thoughts on command, and clarify a direction to move and to think. Next time you encounter a situation where internal chatter is getting the best of you, try asking yourself this, what needs to be done to align this feeling I'm experiencing with an action aligned with my values? Identify the values that mean the most to you that could inform the action you take. So for instance, let's play this out. Your boss gives you tough feedback. There goes the chatter. So let's turn on emotional agility and play this out. Okay, so I'm definitely experiencing the feeling of inadequacy, failure, and embarrassment. I'm being hooked and distracted by these thoughts, but I need to accept these thoughts as just thoughts because it's not productive to think this way. Now I will let my values and principles guide my solution. So hard work and planning means a lot to me. It's a core value of mine. So, so I'm going to point all my energy and chatter into making a plan to crush it in the next 30 days. Now I've used emotional agility to refocus. So now that you know these amazing tactics to defeat negative thoughts, I want to hear from you down in the comments, what values motivate you the most? For me, it's passion, reliability, responsibility, and hard work. When I need to refocus my internal chatter, that's what I focus my energy on. And as always, if you want to level up your leadership skills, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a weekly video. Well. Unfortunately, my internal chatter is telling me I need to work on the next video. So I will see you all later. Have a great week.